WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's down 61. That's 34,602. As I'd mentioned, the nine period moving average is still under the 40, and that shows weakness. We're looking at the S&P. There, the nine period moving average is still green. <clears throat> uh, the price is starting to come down, and the, the nine is getting closer and closer to the 40, but it hasn't turned down yet, but it is a choppy sideways move. It's down 21 at 4466. The QQQ, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, which does have Oracle and Oracle, took a huge hit today. Um, the uh, the uh, queues are down 2.80 at 374, uh, holding quite well in the sideways movement. In all these charts that I've mentioned, the weeklies are still very strong. It's really important to emphasize that IWM, not so. It's actually very close to turning down in the weekly chart. Hasn't yet. Anything can happen. But it is weak today. It's down 15 cents at 184. Gold is it still down sharply. Yep, it's down 12. Actually, you know, it's really not it bad when you think about what the dollar's doing. Gold's holding pretty well, but it's not moving out of its range. So at 1934, it really needs to hold 1915 uh, because if it goes under that, that's going to be a big problem in the weekly chart. Looking at the dollar, dollar is up a little bit. It's up uh, uh, to 32 ticks at 104.86. It hasn't taken out the left side high. I think it's going to do that, and then we're going to have to reassess. But in the meantime, the TLT which is the bonds, uh, down two ticks at 93.67. Wow, it is really struggling. So those yields are pushing to the high side together with crude oil. Crude oil is up $1.84. This is a big percent, down up 2% in crude oil. Whew. And the way it looks, if I'm not wrong, my analysis says that this is actually a new, a brand new buy mode. I do have no choice, but I have to put an up arrow here to say, that there's a chance that over a period of at least another four or five sessions that we could go to a peak C and even a D. And that takes you towards, I don't know about getting there now, but towards the 94 high in the continuous contract of the week of November the 11th, uh, 93.56 was the high. So that's uh, that's important. So I'm going to be doing Steve's hour coming up, not Steve's show. He's the only one that can do mastering probability, but I'm going to be using that hour. Had a number of requests, and you can send a request right away to me, and uh, uh, I'd love to get that request, Bowser Chapman at tfnn.com. And uh, we'll, we'll and give a call, 877-927-6648. So we'll use this hour, hour as judiciously as possible and uh, stay tuned to check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.